All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 20 for today. In the last episode, we finally got our threes rank. We're at champion one, division one, and in 2v2, we're at champion three, division two. So I think we probably, we could get uh, grand champ one in this episode if we get enough twos games. Uh, but as you guys saw the last episode, 3v3 was quite wild. So I'm kind of hoping to see if we can improve in that and talk more about how to uh, move up in the ranks and champ. But before we get into the games, we have to do the meme of the day. And today we have a born alive but dead with the meme, apparently Jacksepticeye. Eye. I made this maybe too good. It's kind of creepy. And I think Danny agrees. Okay, so we didn't get a threes game, but we got twos with Chaos and a bunch of squares uh, with uh, True Darnell on our team here. So that's gonna be a pop down to my teammate. And even though that player did challenge, it should be our ball next and get a clear down the field. And with uh, with squares going up early here, we should be able to get get pressure. Because like I've talked about in the previous episodes, um, like in those situations where uh, a player hits it forward back to your side, if your teammates are ready, it's just basically a giveaway of pos possession there. So let's see if we can stay close to this ball. Like a challenge. I can probably turn on this to at least make him do something and just stay close to this ball. I'm trying not to overcommit though with my touches, as you can see. I'm just trying to stay pressured on this. Both players. I like positioning from Darnell here. I'm gonna get the mid boost, just kind of stock up. And now we're trying to keep pressure here. I'm gonna try and stay close to this ball. Hit it towards the net and they don't save it. Uh, it's a really good pressure though. Really good uh, play from my teammate to keep the pressure there. And I'm just trying to make a touch on the right side of the ball there or the left side of the ball uh, with my right side of the car to bring it in towards the net. And honestly, the player that went for the corner boost there should have probably pushed towards me. This guy's up here. He does miss though. But I have to respect that he's gonna make the clear. Now this touch was not good. As you can see, it goes right to the opponent on the wall. I could have hit that more forward or controlled it with a catch. Pop to the wall, same here. It's gonna be a cutoff. I can't really go on that because it's gonna be a pop. I see my teammate up for it, which is totally fine. Good challenge. You see, I immediately back off. I'm going to go to the wall with my jump and stay close to the ball. Good cut. You can see I'm covering my teammate in middle on any touch that happens because he's going on the back end. Just flipping there forward just in case. He wants to catch it. Looks like he's leaving for me, which is totally fine. It is awkward, though. I'll jump up for it, but once again, I get, I get rid of possession with that touch. The second that I make a bad touch there, I'm moving uh, behind my teammate to defend or support him. Oh, he misses. And an open goal. That's a great pass down the field. You can see I'm already sitting in a position where I have to kind of trust my teammate that he's going to make it clear. And I'm not I'm not fully trusting him where I can kind of still back off and, like, cover that position. But I'm just trying to play uh, carefully. Cover as many options as possible. Got to avoid the demo in case it comes through. Really good. Uh beat there. Big clear though. Avoid the demo. Let my teammate go ahead. So this is a little scary. Might pinch this. Doesn't make the best touch though. Good try in the 50. Now I'm trying to see if Square is going to pop this out middle. I'm going to try and immediately jump up for this and get in the way. I'm already reading that that's kind of what the play they're going to do. And there's a bit of prediction there which maybe you might get wrong at times. But I'm just trying to read the play as soon as possible. Like right here, I see that he might make a touch to the backboard. If he gets a flip reset, my teammate has it. I'm going to stay with this here. Let's see if one of them cuts here. I'm going to try and pass this to the my teammate. Good fake. He's saying sorry, but it's all good. No problem. To pop across, I know that's across the net. There's no problem. I don't have to touch this yet. Even if this guy comes in, I can just force the 50. And I'm going to pass this to my teammate again. It's a good touch. Good save. Now squares can go on this first. So I'm just going to stay back. He still has possession here. My teammate's going to cut him off. And now I have the ball at the backboard. Unless he's trying to go for the bump. So I actually fake the ball instead. Hit this forward. It does force um, the guy to jump though. Which in, in reality the best play there is to actually just dribble it forward. Um, because my teammate's going for the bump on the ground. If you if you make the opponent jump up. It's going to put them in a really uh, tough spot to like stay on the ground. And my teammate's not going to be able to bump him anymore. Okay, I space with this ball. Once again, I'm going to try and draw a player in. Should my teammate to clear this, maybe? Looks like they might have it, though. You see, I'm not immediately rushing in a net. You don't need to rush right in the net every time the ball is like, in possession of the opponents. And in doing so, actually, like it's actually bad positioning a lot of the times. 
Um, because if you rush back to net, you're not covering all the options in midfield. And so it's good to like keep those options open. Good follow-up. They might pinch it. I actually want them to pinch it. Like, even though the guy got the demo, I'm still in a 1v1. Maybe a save. Try to take immediately take that boost. And loot behind Chaos? Maybe it's Chaos. That's both players. I could cut that off really early, or you could just let him touch it. Either way works. No problem. Let's see what does here. I want him to loot behind me before I challenge. Now I can challenge. It's across from my teammate. Good clear. I could push up for this. I'm just going to chill, though. Oh. Okay. Cast might have this. That's a really good follow-up from him. Really good second touch. Darnell's positioning really well here. Let's see if he can pass this across. Good pass. This guy's probably going to try and cut this off early because there's only 10 seconds left. And that's the sort of thing where if you know that like there's not much time, people are going to behave a little bit differently. It's a good play. Good save. Might be chaos to shoot this, though. Great shot. It's a really good, really good play from them. That's a really good last second play. Unfortunately, there's no time. But uh, that was a really good play from them to uh, cause some really fast pressure. Those are the kind of things that, like, when people play uh, a little more rushed on time, it can either go really well or really poorly. Because either, like, they're rushing and they're making bad touches, or they're rushing and surprising the opponents on defense. And that's one of those situations where they play really well, really fast at the end there. But that's the kind of pressure they needed earlier on in the game. Not, not necessarily take big risks, but just, like, play more aggressive and be more assertive with their positioning. Moving into game two, I do want to talk about some comments I've been seeing about people saying that I'm not giving enough... Uh, tips i guess <laughs> which i feel like i'm constantly telling a bunch of a bunch of tips in the in these episodes uh, i think that people like expect that like there's magic words that you can say uh to just give uh someone more skill which just does not exist in any video game uh, it, it requires your own effort and time uh right there by the way i just made like a a, a, pl a pop to the ball i wasn't really expecting it to go to net but the guy dove really far away there but yeah, there's not really any magic words I can say, or anybody in the world can say. Uh, that's going to be an open goal again. Um, that's going to make someone just like inherently better at a video game. You have to you have to make your own talent, make your own improvements uh, exist in a video game. People can help, and they can definitely say things that will, you know, push you in the right direction and and how to how to learn how to how to learn. Um, and that's like a lot of what school is. I've talked about this before. Um, a lot of like what you go through school is for is just to learn how to learn. So cut towards net should be a save though. So like learning the tools uh, to be able to put yourself in a better position to improve faster is sort of like what like even Rocket League coaching is. Like a lot of what you want to do is give like oh my bad, um, give players like the right path to take, but they have to form that path for themselves. This is gonna be off the backboard here. He might follow it here. It's a little scary. That's a great play from them. What I should do there is catch on the on the wall, um, but I don't know if at champ level or champ three that you'd have like enough control not to pop that ball accidentally in front of the net. So I instead kind of played the the backward bounce. But you can see that's gonna be dangerous if people are ready for it. And the guy did miss the read, but his teammate was ready. It's gonna be an awkward bounce here unless I get get ready for it right away. It's a good pop. It's a good cut too. It's going to be an awkward bounce here. I think it's going to bounce like up the wall a little bit. And I'll let this guy touch it first. And now I have a free ball. Okay, this, this guy um, likes to cut in front of his teammate. So we can maybe take advantage of that in the future. It's a good touch. Do a cut. Now I'm going to take this mid boost. Support behind my teammate. It's a good flick, but Banana Terror is going to have this. And I like that the uh, Suzak guy does want to go on every ball. So I can kind of use that to my advantage. Good play. Should be Mako or Mako. Great shot. Teammate in team chat. Oh. I think he might have been saying something in team chat. That's actually a big thing. As, as some people um, will, will either be like global chat banned, but they can still do team chats. Or they just choose to use the team chats. I usually don't respond to people who do that because it just makes you look toxic. <laughs> Realistically, I'm gonna pop this to the side. You can see my turn, position my car to the side there, um, to stay with the the ball, because um, I'm gonna pop it around him by doing that. 
Uh, but if I angle my car too much to the side, it's going to pop the ball back into the opponent driving at me. But I knew there was enough space between him and the and the and the ball. I'm gonna wait for the bounce here. What a save! What a pinch too. You can see I'm waiting to see if he's going to get the misread. And I could have definitely placed that better. It's over. I'm going to avoid the bump by jumping over him. Looks like my team wants to go for this. It's going to be uh, Banana Terror. See if he wants to jump for this. He might get beat here, which is totally fine. But now you can see I have a free ball. That's kind of what his job is there, just to force a player out. And I am last man here, so be a little careful with the shot. It's over. Looks like he wants it. Great play. Probably faked out the opponent there, too, by me being positioned there. I don't know if he got the boost. I'll hit this into the curve, so it pops back in a mid. But it does bait my teammate up. This ball does bounce into a spot where it's probably going to be Suzak first. Got to avoid the bump. Good challenges. A good pop. It's off the backboard. What a touch. Hey, 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 hey. Well, that's fancy. What is, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh, he's decided to back out. I guess we're done. We're done. That was a cute little moment we just shared. Oh, big miss. This will be open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to cheat up here a little bit. Oh, he's he's typing. Oh, I am. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, man, what a wholesome 2v2 game. I actually it's what what an interesting turn of events because I saw that after the second goal, if you like have a flashback here, Danny, he actually stopped moving. I actually thought it was going to be maybe toxic or something. I think he maybe just like made a mistake and he was upset with himself. But I really thought he was actually upset at his teammate. Because, you know, we've seen that a lot. Um, like people like will back, like stop moving and they'll be upset and they're typing to their teammate. But right, this is, this is going to be a, a challenge from Banana here. I'm going to try and touch the ball in the corner to keep it close. Okay, it's going to be that, them here. And I'm trying to figure out where my teammate's spawning. I think he spawned behind me to the left. Make a challenge here. Should be banana to make a pop here. I'm gonna wait in mid. We'll say he still has possession here as well. So I'm just backing off and trying to wait for my teammate to support me. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be it. That's a good game. My teammate played pretty well, and I think that Suzak was actually just being a little too aggressive at times, just like taking over the ball. And also, there was a couple times where my teammate also took the ball where there was possession available. And he could have made like a, a good like dribble play. But either way, good game for everybody. And we got four assists on my teammate. We're champion three, division three. So we've got, what, division four to go through. And then we're possibly GC1. So we're getting very, very close to SSL now. Okay, we've got 8D and, uh, or 80. And then we got I Am Insane with Ya Boy Menting. Is that what it is? Ya Boy Menting? Yeah, I guess it is. I got a demo here. I could have maybe shot that right towards the net right away. Um, but I decided not to. to try and control it in the side there. My teammate has full boost. And I got to keep that in mind. We'll say he might be trying to follow this. Good follow. Let me see if he gets a demo or a bump or something. Now I have possession here on the ball. He does bump me to the ceiling though. So I'm going to boost down to the ground and then try to do a wave dash backwards. Teammate has it. Pop it forwards. And I have possession on this ball. So good try on the demo. Uh, it's a lucky bump from me, actually, because that probably could have been a shot towards target. Looks like your boy has it. I swear we've had your boy like on our team, like a, a your boy of some sort. This is a really good play from them. Good miss, though. I don't know why I said good miss. That's not what I meant. Uh, lucky miss. Yeah, I'll wait for him to make a pass or something. He might get demoed here. Oh. It's fine. I maybe catch this if I want, but you can see that's going to be dangerous. going to be back in the mid. It's a great shot. Great save, though. A great finish. So my uh, my decision to make a, a catch there probably wasn't the best because you can see that it just popped off. Also, the bad 50-50. Your boy didn't make the best clear either. He could have cleared that to the, the right side more or, or higher. 
But either way, two mistakes, they compound. Like, one, one mistake compounds into another one pretty quickly. Off the side here. Looks like Insane's missing. If I can go for this ball here. And there we go. It's a great pass. Definitely could have scored it himself. He didn't make the best pop off this catch. He could have just kept his car to the to the right side, and that would have cushioned the ball to face it towards the net. But he ended up turning towards the, the net at the last second, which ends up putting the ball more towards the left side. It's cleared on the field. I think your boy has this. I'm going to trust him. Good first touch. Good second touch. To get cut off. Get it clear off the wall. I'm trying to see what he does with this touch. Does it go right to AD here or AD? I'm going to call him AD. I don't really know if that's what it's supposed to be. Looks like I'm insane. It still has it. One player's up. I have a ball to clear this to the side here. This was the kind of clear I was talking about, keeping it to the side here. Good follow up. It's off. Get a flip. Looks like they have it. Oh, they do miss. It's two players now. 50 50. Should be a good chance. I like the fake from your boy there. Good try. I could probably go for this, but AD's already up. You see, I'm like not moving very fast right now. I gotta be a little, a little bit careful. Good cut off from your boy. Keep momentum here. Great shot. Good save though. Trying to keep my momentum, but also just not overcommit on anything. Good try the bump. Now I have space on this ball after the flick to go for the follow up. There we go. Should be maybe down the field. One more. Is it in? It is. Nice shot. So it was a good follow from me off the wall. It looks like I am insane. Didn't have the best read. But I was trying to read that bounce immediately, and that's something that you can definitely practice in some training packs. There's some really good like training packs where the ball bounces hard off your own backboard, or you can make it yourself, where it's like over your backboard and you try to follow the angle. You have to keep in mind too, though, that the the spin of the ball does affect how the ball bounces off the wall. I hit this to the left side. There should be a lot of space for him to do something, like chip it off the backboard or something. Nice shot. Giving your teammate a good angle to work with is super important. And there's so much space on the left side of the field there that I, it doesn't really matter where I place that. But a forward ahead of him so he can go with the momentum of it is important. If I hit that too far forward to the left, then he can't really get an angle to chip it. Um, so it's really important to think about all that when you're making those passes. Also, keeping the ball pretty low as well. You don't need to make every passing play like a huge... Um, ow. A huge... Um, you know, booming clear that the player has to use like 60 boost just to make a, a touch towards the net. He can make that touch very effectively just by hitting the ball towards uh, the f like the net on the floor. And just as threatening. Especially from that angle. It's going to be around me here. I'm going to let my teammate go for this. See, I'm just trying to position for a possible 50-50. It's a great demo from them though. See if they can get a shot towards net. That was a great option from, uh, I think it was uh, I Am Insane. That's my, my bad. I definitely should be like avoiding that. It was a great 50-50, and if I obviously I was playing faster, I would have just been right there available for that 50 instead of playing a little bit more hesitant. Not hesitant, but just slower and more patient. Um, you could definitely keep the pace up and just go behind your teammate 50-50 in there. Because when the, when the player is on the wall there, there's not many options they can go for. Let me bounce up here. Put this towards target. Should be a save. I'm going to back off here. See if... So your boy just... Oh, I thought he was going to take both. I thought he didn't use any boost, so luckily he didn't take it. But this is a great touch here. Should be my ball. I'll hit this up high. and just see what he does with it. Big misses. He wants to leave it. Maybe he still has it. Good 50. Looks like I'm in the same might stay with this. Good save. I'm going to go to the back right here. The second this ball pops forward, I should be my teammate to go for this. It's following it up. Let's see what he with this. Good first touch. Or second touch, I guess. My teammate's very far forward, so I'm going to stall for him by hitting up the backboard. Very high. And now we can keep uh, possession here. Ball's going to bounce up. I don't have to go for this if you don't feel comfortable for it. A good chance. Maybe my teammate can follow it. You see how patient I'm being. I'm like, I don't need to go fast. Obviously, it's not good to always stay slow. Oh, I took the boost by accident. It's fine. Good chip. I think he did get the back right though. Still stay with this. Maybe one more touch. Good follow up. 
The great 50 from my, uh, the opponent. Keep it close. I get behind him. He can turn in first here. That's a great dribble. A good, better cutoff though. Off the sidewall. And a finish. That's a great pass. Really good, uh, really good awareness to go for the uh, the dunk here before the player was challenging it and just gives us good pressure. It's been all twos games today, but honestly, like everyone's playing really well today. I'm finding that um, I'm able to read my teammates pretty well. There's not too many times that they're overcrowding me or I'm overcrowding um, them. Um, and so we're just kind of like rotating really nicely. I'm, I'm going to solo queue for the last game. I'm going to say sorry. Sorry, just solo queuing. But uh, that was a good game. Let's do one more and uh, see what we end up with here. It doesn't let me play again for some reason. Why is the play again gone? I can't play again. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, for the final game, we, we got a champ. Uh, champ won 3v3 game. This is our first uh, ranked threes, I think, like when we have our rank. Okay, we have a, a teammate who's AFK. But he's back. No problem. It's a good first touch from Jolito across let my teammate go for this I'm trying to pick up some pads we'll say he misses it's off the backboard so we someone to follow maybe I'm gonna try and push up on this it's gonna be a little awkward bounce but I'm gonna just rush it Let's see what this guy does with this touch looks like D chips has it so what, my, what I should be doing here is just grabbing some pads in a loop here and just trying to read where uh, the, the ball is gonna be next looks like he has a second touch Hit this off the wall. Hopefully my teammate can finish it. He wasn't quite ready for it. Good try on the 50. Hit this off to the side. Should we a teammate to maybe follow this? Okay, it's going to be them. It's fine. Trying to wait to see what happens with this touch. I'm going to go for this now to try and bait, uh, bait one of the players in. Try to fall off the wall. It's going to be uh, Drunk Sonky. <laughs> Should be back to my oh never mind my team is not there but this should be okay. Good follow up. Let's see if we can follow this. There we go. I'm gonna try and go to the left side here, get around the side, and there's a shot. So I'm trying to already get a lead on that ball once I see my teammate get a good clear. That was a really good play from Jolito to, to follow up the uh, the play, and that was all three players getting involved. That's a great pass. Should be Jolito here. I'm gonna move back behind with the boost. Now this ball's gonna bounce up high, so I'm gonna go for this this bounce right away. I'm trying to get a touch underneath the left side of the ball, from my perspective, to hit the ball forward and high. You can get like a really good flick on the ball by getting that little chip. That might be in the net. Wow, that's just lucky. <laughs> Not much more to say about that. It's just a really lucky play. I do a flip forward. It doesn't look like people are still not. They're not speed flipping yet. In the 3v3 game. You can see that that guy was going to beat me to the boost. So I can just get a little loop here and get, get a bunch of boosts. Both my teammates are pre-jumping. It actually worked out though. Gets a chip down the field. Good try on the follow-up. Just going to pop this up high. Good control from Jolito. But it also took it away from uh, Arctic Llama, Llama there. Hit okay, this to the left side. Looks like my teammate's not following. So I'm going to immediately boost up to the ball again. Oh my god. The Arctic Llama is alone, so see if we can control it nicely. He does get a, a decent chip into the side there. No challenge. Good try. Looks like Drunk Zonky has it. Good cut off. This is very awkward for me. Great bump, though. Now I'm going to make sure I just bait the challenge. Oh, both my teammates missed, though. A great finish. So it's a great play from them, but bigger, bigger whiffs from my teammates to cause that goal. Looks like Jolito jumped off the wall. He honestly could have just stayed on the wall driving there, and I think he would have cleared to the left side. So 3v3 is definitely harder to get a good read on where you should be for your team. And I know that's why it's way more chaotic, and it's the same reason why pros don't really play threes. Because a lot of people don't really understand the rotations of 3v3 at all. That's not a great touch for me. It's going to be a little bit dangerous. They do miss, though. I think the biggest thing is that it's just like so messy without comms. Like 3v3 is very difficult to get a good read on where you're supposed to be because there's so many moving parts. Okay. You'd think that 3v3 would be uh, 
easier because there's more players on the field to work with. But it, because there's so many players to work with, there's so many variables, it's very hard to um, understand what is the best play to make a lot of the times. Good try from Jolito. He didn't miss. Arctic Llama's in the mid. It's a good bump. So we beat here. I'm going to try and stay close. This could be bad, though. It could be a finish. Yeah. The 50-50 ended up popping over to the left side, and my teammate was maybe trying to go on this. It looks like he was turning on this. Yeah, he was. I wouldn't say that's the best option since I'm already there trying to cover that for him. And he could have maybe been ready uh, back in net. And try and cheat up here. Try to follow this up off the wall. I'll hit this hard off the wall here and see if my teammate can follow it. But Jolito actually just uh, backflipped. Maybe a bump? Oh, no way. It's a good try. Good. Just give me a pop in the mid. Maybe Arctic Llama can turn on this. It's towards net. Whoa. Looks like uh, T-Ray has this. Maybe a follow-up. He's up the wall. I can still stay with this. Hit this towards net. See if he saves it. Holy... Awkward ball for Llama. Maybe you should just back off or get the cut like that. It's totally fine. Nice bump. Looks like my teammate wants it. Just make a touch here. It's going to be a little awkward. It might be a shot. Oh, he missed. Okay, I thought he was going to go again. That guy should have definitely shot that. Okay, I got to touch another corner. I'm bumped. Hopefully one of my teammates can go for this. Oh, good save. A little awkward. Very, very small ball, but it's working. I'm trying to avoid the bump here. Try to get the touch with my wheels again. I've talked about this in the last episode. Getting a touch with my wheels there is going to be important. Oh, he misses. What the heck? It's hard to get a read on like these players because a lot of them are making like really weird whiffs. I don't quite expect. Is that in? Oh, my. I think that was in bottom left. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cheat softly here. Good. I'm going to chip this around that player to the right side. Now I have space on this ball. Hits off the wall. Good try. Maybe a finish. Can't get on this ball before the opponent, so I'm just going to stay back. Go for a clear to the right side. Maybe a follow-up. Teammates are both up. It's a little scary. It's a good touch, though. Off the wall. I want to hit this into the ramp so it stays softly on the wall with me. Backflip it up. Do a good save. Everyone's playing pretty well in this lobby. It's been pretty controlled. Good try. It's a little scary because I am last man. I'm going to thread the needle behind uh, both players. Should be my teammate to follow this. Jaluda needs to turn on this. Yeah, I just took maybe maybe I took his boost. I don't know if he needed that. It's a good try. Both of them. Whoa. Let's stay on the backboard. They do miss. Wait for Trey, maybe? Oh, he didn't go for it. I have a free ball here. Pop this up nice and high. Both my teammates are still very aggressive. Llama stopped moving. I can rush this, though. We have an AFK teammate. Oh, Jolito's up. This is a little bit scary. Great touch. Well, actually, not the best touch, but we can put this safely into the side wall by rolling it around. It's towards net. That's in. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what happened there because, like, this is a fine touch. Oh, Jolito needs to not cut there. He needs to respect that he's being beat and wait for them to make a touch towards net. He, he had a perfect position in net. There was nobody in midfield. There's nobody really, like, covering that, and he could have just waited for them to chip it towards net. Definitely very aggressive play from my teammates in a lot of positions. And then I'm not sure what the AFK situation was. We made some decent saves. I feel like we were playing way faster than we needed to or at with that we, we should at this rank. So I think we definitely deserve to lose that game uh, considering all the positioning mistakes and stuff. And even with the good saves there, and, and I, I could have definitely saved that one where I got bumped to the backboard. I decided I probably shouldn't because that would be too crazy of a save at this rank. But honestly, the opponents played pretty well. Um, they definitely had a better team play situation going on. Except after, like, we had that first goal that we scored. That was really, really good. But otherwise, it just, you know, kind of fell apart. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely an interesting one. We only got one 3v3 game. 
I feel like I want to see more threes to hopefully get it up to into cha higher champ and maybe grand champ as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Catch you in the next one. All right, we have Jack and we have Jack, but he's bald. I tried to remove his hair already, uh, and I guess we get to see what he would look like if he had no hair. Uh, I'm gonna try and combine the facial features. This is gonna be horrible. Okay, let's scale him up till he's about the same size. There we go. Match up the ears a little bit. Something like that. And then I think what I do is I just kind of erase until we have just like the features we need. So I think we, <laughs> I think we go here. Little soft brush. Get the beard back. The more we can get of of Jack, and the less of Jack we can get, the better. You know what I'm saying? Let's get like the oh, that's the other lips. Okay, so we need to we need to take Jack here and move it down on Jack. I think something like this. Then we erase all this. Okay, no, that's definitely. <laughs> That is definitely not the play. Uh, that's better. Oh my god, that was terrifying. I don't know if I can get like more of... Like honestly, I think that's... Oh my god, I think that's as good as it needs to get. And now what we do is we just color match this, I think. We get more of the the rosy cheeks back in there. I mean, I feel like I kind of nailed it, no? That's pretty good. That is pretty good.